welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Sandhi in Paninian Grammar. In this lecture, we have started studying the Hal Sandhi and we take it forward, the consonant Sandhi. We have stated that Hal Sandhi can be described into two types, Ekasthanika, Ekadesha, where we have one substituent which is replaced by one substitute and also Ekasthanika, Dvyadesha, where one substituent is replaced by two substitutes. Here are the two instances of Ekasthanika, Ekadesha one substituent replaced by one substitute. So we have Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha and also Para Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha. Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha is explained diagrammatically on this slide where we have B plus A in close proximity in the Samhita mode and immediately before A there is B. So B is the Purva Nimitta, A is Para and in the environment of this Purva Nimitta B, A is substituted by C. A is the Sthani, C is the Adesha, B is the Purva Nimitta. So B plus A is the input and B plus C is the output. Then we have Paranimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha where we have A plus B in close proximity in the Samhita mode and in the environment of B which is Para, A is Purva over here. A is replaced by C, A is substituted by C, A is the Sthani, C is the Adesha, A plus B is the input and C plus B is the output. There are two instances of Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha, Shchutva Sandhi as well as Shtutva Sandhi. And there are several of Paranimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha, namely Shchutva Sandhi and Shtutva Sandhi, Anusvara Sandhi, Parasavarana Sandhi, Purva Savarana Sandhi, Anunasika Sandhi, Chattva Sandhi, Jivhamuliya Sandhi, Upadmaniya Sandhi, Kutva Sandhi, Jashtva Sandhi, Shattva Sandhi, and Anatva Sandhi. So Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha is what we shall study in this particular lecture. First let us study Shchutva Sandhi. Shchutva Sandhi is stated by the Sutra Stoho Shchunas Chuhu. 8440. This sutra has got three words, stoho, shchuna and shchuhu. Stoho is 6 slash 1 of stu. Stu is sa and tu. Tu means tavarga, that is ta, tha, the, dha and Na. Stoho means in place of stu, in place of these sounds. Shchuna is 3 slash 1 of shchu. Shchu is sh and chu. Chu is chavarga, that is ch, ch, j, j, and y. So, what shchuna means is in association with 
stew or in combination of stew. And once again we have stewhu 1 slash 1 slash 1 of stew made up of sh and chu. Chu means chavarga once again ch, ch, j, j and y. This means the substitute stew. All this put together the meaning of stoschuna stuhu can be stated in this manner. In the close proximity of sounds samhitayam in the combination of chu that is sh and chu that is chavarga ch, ch, j, j and y. In place of stu namely sa and tu that is tavarga ta, th, da, dha and na substitute sh and chu that is chavarga that is ch, ch, j, j and y. I repeat in the close proximity of sounds in the combination of stu that is sh and chu in place of stu that is sa and tu substitute sh and chu. Now let us look at the meaning of the word shchuna. This is a very peculiar usage of the instrumental case trutiya. This case indicates the environment for the substitution to take place, but it does not indicate the left hand environment or only the right hand environment. Rather it indicates both left as well as right hand environments for the substitution to take place. Stu will be both left hand as well as right hand environment for Shchutva Sandhi to take place. So we have Shchu plus Stu for example, in this case Shchu is Purva and Stu is Para, Shchu is the Nimitta, Stu is the Sthani or the Kargi and in this case Stoschuna Shchuhu applies, there is association of this Stu the sthani with the nimitta. And so now stoschunashchuhu applies and substitutes this stu by shchu. So the output we get is shchu plus shchu. This is called purva nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha. Similarly, if we have stu plus shchu, this is stu and this is chu. Stu is purva, shchu is para. Now stu, stu is sthani or kargi, stu is nimitta. In this case stu is substituted by stu and we have stu plus stu as the output. This is called paranimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha. Since we have stu and stu where we have stu as sthani or kargi and shchu as adesha or karya and also as nimitta. The natural question is about the correspondence between them and the answer given by the tradition about this correspondence is the following. In this case yathasankhya relation exists between Sthani and Adesha, Karyi and Karya only. Yathasankhya does not exist between Nimitta and Sthani or Nimitta and Karyi as well as Nimitta and Adesha. It exists only between Sthani or Karyi and Adesha or Karya. So what it means is that if we have chu followed by sa in this case, where this sa is para and this is purva nimittaka ekadesha, so this sa will be replaced by the first sound 
in stew, that is sh. Similarly, if you have stew plus na, na appears at the fifth position of the tavarga, and so this input will be replaced by stu plus y, which is the fifth letter in the ch varga. There exists a correspondence relation yathasankhya nyaya here. This is the sthani, this is the adesha, this is the karyi, this is the karya. Nimitta and adesha, nimitta and sthani, there is no such correspondence that is stated. In case of the Paranimittaka Ekadesha, when we have sa plus shchu, once again sa is substituted by sh which appears in the first position in the set. Similarly, ta followed by shchu and ta will be substituted by ch which also appears at the initial position of chavarga. Similarly, if we have the followed by shchu, the will be substituted by j, which is the third consonant in the chavarga. So, there is correspondence between the which is at the third position and j, which is also at the third position. The at the first position and ch at the first position, but this correspondence does not exist between the sthani and the nimitta and adesha and the nimitta. So, let us now look at shchutva sandhi with purva nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha. So, we have template examples of this kind, shchu plus stu and stu will be replaced by shchu. For example, we have ch plus n and 8440 applies and returns the output in the form of ch plus y. Similarly, you have j plus n as the input and the output is j plus y. Let us take the examples of ch plus n as the input and ch plus y as the output. We have the verbal root yacha to which is added the suffix nang by the sutra 3390. So, yacha plus nang and so this na now coming in contact with this ch, this is stu, this is stu. So, this stu is replaced, is substituted by stu and the correspondence relation yathasankhya nyaya comes into play and na which is the fifth sound in ta varga is replaced by the fifth sound in cha varga. So, we have yach plus y and then we add the feminine suffix to it and we get the word yachya, yachya. Similarly, we have priya panchan plus a deriving the instrumental singular of priya panchan. Now, 6, 4, 134 comes into play and replaces this a over here by 0. So, we get the output in the form of priya panch, na and a. So, now in the absence of this a, ch comes into close contact with na. And now this is shchu, this is stu and stoschuna shchuhu applies with the purva nimitta and therefore this na is substituted by y, which is the fifth sound in chavarga. So, we have priya panch y and a. So, priya panch y. This is the example set of cha plus na being the input and cha plus y being the output. Now, let us look at the examples where we have j plus n as the input, 8440 stosh chunash applies and j plus y is the returned output. So, once again we have the verbal root yaj to which is added the suffix nang by 3390 and now 
this na which is tu which comes into close, close contact with j which is chu and now remember there is no correspondence between the nimitta and the sthani j appears at the third position na appears at the fifth position in the tabarga but still this na will be substituted by the corresponding fifth sound in the chavarga that is ya and so we get yaj plus ya yaj ya that is this word yaj ya although it is pronounced in different ways in modern india in different places differently yadmya in maharashtra yagya in some other parts or yagna in some other parts then we have another example where we have rajan plus a once again we are deriving the instrumental singular form of rajan and once again this a after consonant j this gets deleted by 64134 and so we have raj na and a and so this j and na they are in samhita mode now because this is one pada and so now this is tu this is chu this is purva nimitta and now this na will be replaced by chu which is the fifth consonant of the chavarga which is ya so we have raj ya and a and that is rajya and we get the final form rajya this is how we write it this is how we write j plus ya over here also even in this case this is a dhatu and pratyaya so samhita is obligatory similarly this is also pratipadika plus pratyaya so samhita is obligatory these are within pada sandhis so we get the form rajya once again this is pronounced differently radnya ragya as well as ragna in different parts of modern india this is j plus y always remember rajya that seems to be the pronunciation so these are the other combinations sh plus s ch plus s ch plus s j plus s and j plus s as well as y plus s on the left hand side and then on the right hand side you have sh plus the varg ch plus the varg ch plus the varg j plus the varg j plus the varg and y plus the varg where as you notice the nimitta is purva and the sthani occupies the par place amongst these there are some combinations which are ob already obviously omitted they are with some purpose and they are already taken care of and that's why they are not mentioned over here ch plus na was already mentioned in the previous slide and j plus na was also mentioned previously so they are not mentioned over here so these are the other combinations that are possible and there are several other combinations that can also be possible let us look at the combinations with sh where we have sh plus s in this environment 8236 applies and generates the output in the form of sh murdhanya plus s then this sh is substituted by k by 8241 and then finally the s gets substituted by sh by 8359 which is a conjunct consonant and even written as a conjunct consonant namely sh so here is a concrete example we have dish plus sh plus t and there is guna substitute which gives us desh plus sh plus t now this sh is followed by this s over here so 8236 applies and substitutes this sh by murdhanya sh so we have desh plus sh plus t 
Now this sh will be substituted by k. So we have dek plus y plus t and then this uh, will be substituted by sh. So we have dek plus sh plus t and dek sh t. So in the combination of sh plus sh, the other rule is going to apply. The sutra 8440 is a siddha and therefore before it actually applies these rules get applied and then there is no more the scope of application of 8440 and therefore 8440 does not apply in this particular case. We also have a sutra shat which also negates the sandhi in these combinations, combinations with sh. Shat is 8444, shat is 5 slash 1 of sh which is consonant sh. Shat means immediately after sh consonant. Stoho is continued 6 slash 1 of stu. In this case just the tavarga is intended. Shchuhu is also continued 1 1 of shchu and most importantly na also continues. From na padanta toranam na means not. So this is a negation. What this sutra means is that immediately after sh in the close proximity of sounds sh and chu that is chavarga do not get substituted in place of tu that is tavarga. So if we have sh followed by tu this tu is not replaced by chu it remains as it is. This is the input and same is the output rather there is no output it is same. So we have example pracha plus na, na is added after the verbal root pracha by 3390 and so 6419 replaces this cha by sh. So we have prash plus na and there are some other complications which we do not need to go into the details of. So we have prash plus na now this is sh, this is tu. Stosh chunash who should apply and then substitute this na by ya. But shat 8444 negates this and so we get the form prashna as it is. Prashya which would be the form if we apply 8440 is negated by 8444. Now let us look at the combinations with Chu. With the exception of na, any other sound from tu appears immediately after chu, then chu is substituted by ku. This is by 8 to 30, chokku. So, for example, if you have vach plus tatva, cha is replaced by k, so we have vak and tatva, and we get the word vak tatva as a compound. Similarly, ruch plus sara and cha is substituted by k by chokuhu. So we get ruk sara and ruk sara. So in these combinations, chokuhu will play an important role. And remember, chokuhu is 8 to 30, which comes earlier than 8440. And 8440 is asiddha to 8 to 30. So, these combinations will be taken care of by some other rules in the Ashtadhyayi stated in the Asiddha Kanda. To summarize what we have done, we studied the basics of Hal Sandhi, namely the consonant Sandhi. We studied the types of Hal Sandhi. We also studied the first type namely Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha. We also studied the examples and we also noted the exceptions. Next we study 
the second type of hal sandhi or the consonant sandhi in the coming lecture thank you for your patience